Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In our last video we have discussed about LCM Mark II and how Indian government is betting more on the fighter jet to fulfill the requirements of Indian Air Force and target the export market. This paradigm shift of government's policy is historic and very important. India which has always looked outwards to fulfill its own requirement is now looking to export the aircrafts. From all this development, one thing is pretty clear: the government is quite serious in getting the indigenous fighter program to take off sooner. Now we have also discussed about AMCA program briefly in our last video, but in this video we are going to discuss in detail about few new updates and the upcoming challenges for the AMCA program. To begin with, let's talk about the funding. The PDR, that is Preliminary Design Review for AMCA, is complete, and the fighter jet is in CDR phase, that is Critical Design Review. which is expected to be complete by december of this year as per latest update from india today the funding of amca is going to come by december this year there were multiple reports confirming the same when lca mark 2 funding of rupees 9000 crore was approved now if we look at the funding of amca program it began with funding of rupees 10 crores in 2007 followed by 90 crores in 2009 And rupees 447 crores in 2019, and now the requirement is rupees 15,000 crore. ADA has planned to develop, test, and certify five prototypes of AMCA under this funding. Once the funding is approved, the development of AMCA will gain the momentum similar to LCA Mark II program. However, the development of AMCA is going to be more challenging than LCA Mark II. The major challenges with AMCA program is its engine. As you all know that the AMCA Mark 1, LCA Mark 2 and 10 PF fighter jets are going to be powered by General Electric's F414 engines. The two squadrons of AMCA Mark 1 will be powered by GF414 INS6 turbofan engines capable of generating maximum thrust of 97.9 kN with afterburner. However, it will not be sufficient to provide the fighter jet super cruise ability that is cruise at supersonic speed without the use of afterburner. The next five squadrons of AMCA Mark II are planned to be powered by an indigenous engine, which can generate a dry thrust of close to 85 kN and a weight thrust from 110 or 120 or 125 kN or more. With a more powerful engine, the AMCA would be able to achieve the super cruise capability, but it will give rise to new challenges for ADA. Now, the new indigenous engine will have to be designed to generate more power, but at the same time. Its size must be same as that of G's F414 engine. Otherwise, AMCA will have to again undergo structural changes, go into internal testing and certification, which is further going to delay its development. While India is still lagging behind in development of low bypass turbofan engine, developing a more powerful and compact size engine is going to be a big challenge for DRDO. We hope AMCA Mark II does not meet the fate of HL Marut, which was. an excellent design but suffered with underpowered engine which led to its extinction at present india is in discussion with three oems g safran and rolls royce to meet its engine challenges as per reports from india today the pmo is in favor of amca project and assures all necessary approvals however it has some concern over the engine development roadmap for indian fighter jets the pmo believes that india's fighter jet program cannot remain dependent on foreign made engines i'm glad that pmo has taken notice of indigenous engine development and its importance the expectation from new engine is to enter production by 2035 failing to which it's going to delay the amca mark 2 and we might see more of amca mark 1 fighters this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section If you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector